Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I have a brand new video card from Asus. This is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. Let's take a closer look at the box first off. Uh, along with the GTX 680 GPU in the card, you also get two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory integrated. Uh, you also get DirectX 11 compatibility of course. And this is a PCI Generation 3 card which, which gives you double the data bandwidth of PCIe Generation 2 or 2.1. Uh, it is backwards compatible with 2 and 2.1, of course, so don't worry if you have an older motherboard. It's really a bandwidth increase. Uh, you might get a little bit better performance with uh, PCIe Gen 3, but definitely not make or break, so don't worry if you've got an older motherboard. Uh, some more info on the back of the box, but let's just go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. So inside the box, we have... What do we have here? Is this? It's just cardboard. Some filler. Uh, we have some more cardboard here. I think there is something inside this one. Uh, we have a uh, two Molex four pin plug to six pin PCI Express uh, power adapter there. So you can use that uh, to accommodate one of the two six pin PCI Express plugs on the card itself if you don't have those available uh, from your power supply. Speaking of power supply, uh, it's recommended at minimum 550 watt power supply for this particular video card. And the video card itself, uh, TDP is 195 watts. Uh, and this, this, you get the driver for the card as well as the GPU tweaked utility that you saw in the box there, and that is the ASUS software utility that you can use for overclocking and uh, monitoring the card and everything like that. Here's an ASUS speed setup guide, which is a color documentary of how to properly install a card. It's in multiple languages, so uh, if you're not familiar with the hardware procedures for installing a video card, that should help you out. Uh, that's all for accessories. Next up is the video card itself. So here is the GTX 680, and uh, we're going to start off here with a quick measurement just so we can make sure it will fit in your computer case. That's a very important thing to keep track of. So as you can see, uh, just a hair or two past 10 inches long, 10.1, 10.2 inches long, should fit in most existing gaming computer cases. So nice to know, even with the new card, it's not a huge card, and uh, should uh, fit within most cases and also within most power requirements with that 195 watt TDP. Uh, it has a all-black uh, cooling shroud, a plastic shroud going across the entire length of the card. It's got a blower-style fan right there on the right side. It's going to pull air from inside your case. It's going to vent it uh, partially through the slit at the um, right side of the card, and then uh, mostly it's going to be exhausted out the PCI slot at the back of the card. There's just a little bit more ventilation right here at the end. Uh, what else did I want to sh talk about? Here we go. Uh, we have the ASUS logoing on the front. Uh, they've gone with a gold, I'm sorry, not gold, that's silver, silver, green, and black color scheme. Flipping over to this side, we can see a GeForce GTX logo. In most cases, this is what you'll see when you're looking at the video card after it's been installed. Uh, so you got a nice logo there on the side. Uh, looking up here at the top, we can see we do have SLI connectors. This card's SLI compatible uh, with two connectors here. You can do uh, two card, three card, or four card SLI configurations, which would be Pretty crazy setup with this new GTX 680. Down here at the bottom is your PCI Express Generation 3 plug. Uh, so you need a full length uh, plug in order to fit this card in your computer case. Uh, again, PCIe Gen 3 is a bandwidth in increase. It gives just about two times the bandwidth of PCI Gen 2 or 2.1. It's backwards compatible though, and that's a bandwidth, bandwidth increase, and uh, depending on how much uh, actual data the video card needs to transfer back and forth between the video card and uh, your processor's internal uh, PCI controller means that it's not actually going to saturate that. So even if you're running with a PCIe uh, Generation 2 or 2.1 board, uh, you still won't see much of a performance degradation versus the newest PCIe Gen 3 stuff. Uh, also, right here in the middle of that X pattern is going to be where your GPU is. Uh, the code name for this GPU has been Kepler up till now, until it's recently launched as the GTX 6000 series. The specific GPU on the, under there is codenamed GK104. That's the core GPU. It has 1,536 CUDA cores. And it has a base uh, clock of 1,006 megahertz. It also has a pretty cool feature called the boost clock. So um, much in the same way that an AMD or an Intel processor uh, will throttle down when it's not in use and then throttle up when it is in use, uh, this GPU can throttle up to 1,058 megahertz uh, when it actually has a load on it and then back down to 1,006 megahertz. So you get a bit of a boost there from the boost clock. Uh, also scattered around the motherboard is going to be uh, your integrated D GDDR5 memory. Again, you get two gigabytes of that. 
Uh, it runs at 1.5 gigahertz and a 256-bit memory interface. Uh, let's see, what am I forgetting? Let's talk about the power. Here's the power adapters right there. Again, you just need two six-pin PCI Express power connectors, and that's to fit within that 195-watt TDP. And then around here on the PCI bracket, it's a two-slot card, so it'll fit uh, in most computers that need two slots. Uh, you have three, I should pull these off so you guys can see them. You have uh, the capability to run actually up to four monitors. You can push up to four displays with a single card. Uh, you get two DVI adapters right there. Uh, you also get an HDMI out and a display port out. Going back to these DVI outs, uh, this bottom one here is a DVI-I, uh, which has both the analog and the digital interface. It's dual link, so it can push higher resolutions up to uh, or beyond 2560 by 1600. Uh, the upper one here is digital only. You'll notice there on the right side of that um, plug, there is no little analog. Those, those four extra plugs there are the analog outputs. So if you are using uh, a DVI to VGA adapter, don't plug it into this top one. It won't work. You'll want to use this bottom one right here. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 by ASUS. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.